Hug the pink, the pink destroyer there comes in. Oh, look at that! Way deep. LZ taking the high line. Look at Wilkie. He's up in second now. Blake Wilkie in second. And I don't know what kind of line he's running. He's running. He's running three wide by himself, right. pretty much. Well, and look at Tanner Faust. Remember, he is laps down, but he currently sits in what I would say fifth because Haley Deegan, she's a scratch. She is not out there right now. Tanner, excuse me, Travis Pastrana in the back of the pack. All right, 16 more laps, and now 15 from Mr. Popes. Oh, what do we got here? Kevin KSR in that 78 car in all that melee. We got all these white cars out there. He took the lead. In fact, Randy Popes has been is falling wow. all the way back to the fourth spot in that 31-13. Yeah, so LZ, you can see that. So KSR Kevin taking the lead and a significant lead at that. Where did he find this horsepower? Yeah, he is, he is just driven away. Yeah, it, they got all bogged up over there, and he just drove up there to the front. Right now, Randy Popes, who has pretty much dominated this second half of the oh, race. We got him spinning Charles down. Charles Rajana wiped out four. again. We stay green, though. He's in right reverse. <laughs> Travis goes in the inside. We are still racing. Send it. Come on, fellas. Pastrana finds himself on the inside. Here comes Cletus. Cletus is pulling into the center. It looks like his car is done for. Yeah, he's pulling into the skid pad. That thing's still got some more wobbles. There's Cletus. Not a whole lot left for the old 9 -9. Oh, man. She's tired. Oh, look at that. The uh, the 435 diesel Dave. And Cleet down there in the skid pad. We have, we are coming up with KSR when he makes this lap. We have 10 laps to go. What a battle for second and third back there, though. We've got between 05, Adam LZ, Blake Wilkie in the 357, and Randy Popes in the 3113. Tight battle for second. So Kevin at KSR is just not even part of this equation right now. He is running his own race. He's got the clean air. And now 10 laps, less than 10 laps to find out, will Kevin KSR take it all the way? We saw Tanner lead the most laps of any racer and then gets that flat tire. And now here he is way back quite a bit. Yeah, we've definitely had a lot of changing of the guard. I go back to the little story I told, though, at the beginning we of the race. We are down to nine laps to go, folks. The Freedom 500 is coming to a conclusion. I want to hear you guys make some noise to see the race finish of a lifetime. If you aren't standing up, you're not invited back. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, that guy's like, I'm standing up. If you aren't standing up, you're not invited back. Spence, I see no one sitting down. Yeah. I think nope. everybody's standing up. All right, you up. can stay. You got infants with you, but you can stand. You can stand. You can stand. Thank you for your service, sir. We appreciate it. Make some noise for the Freedom 500. Let's see these racers finish. Spencer crushing beers, crushing Red Bulls, crushing a good time. Larry, I know Spence cut you off on your story, but uh, if, if you will, what, what does it remind you of? we got seven laps to go. Well, just thinking about Kevin KSR, you know, he showed me today his little 10-year-old daughter, Karis, made, right. it, made it, didn't give him a bracelet, made him a bracelet that said a racer. And right now, he's six laps from being a winner in the Freedom 500. The second ever making history here at the Freedom Factory. This place was built on Freedom. We'll see if Kevin Smith can take it to the top in that number 78 as uh, he, when he crosses the finish line. Five laps left to go. Stomp your feet. Make some noise. All right, Freedom guys, Factory. on the opposite side of the track, you'll see the race leader on the opposite straightaway, number 78. He's got nobody around him. This is only his race to lose. Kevin Smith with KSR Performance, the builder of Garrett's six-second car mullet, uncontested, our potential race victor, unless he has a blowout or something crazy happened. The race is his to win. Bragging rights for a lifetime. The Freedom 500 could be his. But what could happen is this battle back there for yep. second. These guys are going at it. Adam LZ and Randy Popes, they continue to beat on each other. Three laps left to go. Spence, Larry Mack, I'm Jared DeAnda. Summit Racing Equipment, Freedom 500. We saw many different leaders. And look at that. The checkered and white are out, bud. Three laps to go. 
This is two when he crossed the finish line. Kevin Smith of KSR hits the nitrous. The light goes on. Did you see that? I did there, see Larry. that. Good time to use it now. That is perfect. Don't don't leave here with any left in the tank. That's right. Oh, look at Randy Popes. He goes for the nitrous. Randy trying to pull up on LZ. The white flag is out. Make some noise, Freedom Factory. Let's go. Kevin Smith was not part of the equation, and now he has a grand canyon of a gap ahead of second and third of Adam LZ and Randy Popes. And then Tanner Faust, here we go. Make some noise for our checkered flag is out, and it is waving, and it looks like yes. Kevin Smith of hey, KSR Peter. gets the win. Kevin Smith. Randy Popes, 31-13, beat Adam L LZ back to the line to get that second spot. Kevin Smith was all over that nitrous button oh, those last man. few laps. He was pushing it through the dash. Spence up there getting the crowd hyped. Make some noise, folks! You just watched the very first Freedom 500 with a live audience. Kevin Smith on the finish line with a victory. Make some noise! And Kevin Smith takes it to the top in that KSR 78 yes. celebratory burnout. Yes! Give me some smoke, baby! We got the Summit Racing Man! They're losing their minds! Oh my god! Oh my god! Woo! Alright, where's the checkered? Oh, you already gave it to him? The phones are out. Everybody's taking it. Be sure to tag Get everybody here. Show. Everybody get your phones out. Record this. Turn your flashlights on. Look at that shot. Oh, right that, there. That, That's awesome. that is a skid pad if I've ever seen one. Absolutely amazing. Hats off to Cletus and the whole game. Oh, my God. Spencer, where'd you go, bud? Spencer, where are you? That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Adam LZ lighting him up out there. You got that. Kevin Smith. And look at Travis, the smile on his face. What do we got? The van. Oh, the van. <laughs> and the just... back door's <laughs> coming open. <laughs> Special delivery. Yeah. They ate Childebrand in that Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Van. He said, I'm going to have some fun, too, boys. I've got a lot of laps on this racetrack tonight. Oh, he loves it. Right. That's what, that's a show, B-Bog. Make some noise. Can I get a hell yeah, brother? All right, I'm going to go find the winner, and we're going to get this man a checkered flag with a victory lap if his car still works, <laughs> if it ain't on the rims. All right, Spence, you see him? You see, um, maybe you can help me. I'm in the thick of this. Uh, I don't see him either. <laughs> can barely see through the smoke. What number is he? 78. 78. 78. I believe he's there on the right. Yeah, there he is. He's All right. right there in the I'm middle. I'm going to go give this to him. Yeah, he's getting out of his car right now, it looks like, Spence. Guys, make some noise for Kevin Smith. They're running down here in the center of the burnout bit. We have the there unofficial he is. winner. Oh, the Freedom 500, here you go, buddy. Dude, you got to take a lap. You got to do a slow lap, bud. Dude, you got to do a slow lap. The fans want to see it, brother. You got to do a lap. Spence, tell him to do oh. it backwards where the fans can see him. Go the, go the opposite way. Victory. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to the second annual Freedom 500. All right, the loudest you can scream. Let's give it up from Kevin from KSR. Let's hear it. There we go, dude. Hey, Kevin's been chasing this for a few rounds, man. His third one. Look, I'm gonna be honest, guys. That was way messier than I thought it was gonna be. 
I remember I was talking to Travis last night. I was like, oh, man, we got a bunch of pro-level, clean drivers. Dude, that was the most savage race yet. Hey, did you, did you guys have fun, though? Hey man, uh, shout out to all these drivers for coming so freaking far. I mean, Tanner, for example, dude, these guys just making big trips out here to make this happen. Kevin KSR, our freaking winner. Let's give it up for all the drivers in the Summer Racing Free to 500 2021. Dude, fire me up. Who's coming back for Cletus and Cars tomorrow? All right, dude, we got a hell of a show planned for all you guys tomorrow. Right now, we got to go into full breakdown mode and turn the Freedom Factory into a burnout stadium. So, y'all, get some sleep, get ready for one hell of a show tomorrow. Let's hear it one more time for the 2021 Summer Racing Freedom 500. Make some noise! Okay. Make some noise right. for Cletus McFarlane, all the fans. Again, another big round of applause for Cletus McFarlane, the Freedom Factory Summit Racing Equipment Freedom 500 has been tremendous. Spencer, thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate everything you've done. Good party. And tomorrow, man, you're going to get even more wild, aren't you? Oh, dude, we're going to turn up tomorrow. So the good news is if you purchase the pay-per-view at home, you can tune in for the Cletus and Cars burnout competition tomorrow. And it sounds like we got a lot of the fans coming back for more. We're going to give a quick readout of the final race official results right here. Cletus, <laughs> give it to us. <laughs> Let me see here, bro. Ooh. I, last place. Last place. No, it can't be. Whistling Diesel. <laughs> it's not. No, no, no. Is this thing on? It's, it's not, not technically last place. It's yeah. a DNF. Oh, you did get DNF. Yeah, right. Doesn't count as last place. Yeah, no. We're giving last place to Heavy D. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we go. First place, Kevin from KSR Fab. Second place by only 2.5 seconds, Randy Popes. There he is. Third place, Adam LZ. Dude. Fourth place, Blake Wilkie. Fifth place, Tanner Faust. Sixth place, Suits from Side by Side Blog. Seventh place, Taylor Ray. Eighth place, Haley Deegan. Ninth place, Travis Pastrano. Oh, wait, one more for the top 10. Diesel Dave, number 10. That's your top 10, guys. Let's hear it. All right, so for all you guys coming back tomorrow for Cleese and Cars, this whole crew is about to spend several hours cleaning up the facility, putting in barriers, building a burnout pad. We got temporary bleachers. It's going to be amazing. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. But, uh, hey, Alan, we got anything else? Are we good? Close it out? Listen to all you guys at home and everyone here at the Freedom Factory, thank you for making the 2021 Summer Racing Freedom 500 as special as any, more special than any event before. Hell yeah, brother. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Thank you so much to Cletus and the whole team. Larry, your thoughts in just a, a historic, iconic event that is Summit Racing Freedom 500. Yeah, again, I had the privilege of doing the 2.4-hour mullets in November, but this one right here just was amazing. And, and to your point earlier, we kept seeing that changing of the guard. You know, we thought Alex Bowman in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, it's Tanner Faust that's just dominating. And then Randy Popes, he dominates. And then after that last restart, Kevin Smith just came out of nowhere, the seas departed over off turn two, and he just drives away with the victory. It was awesome. Really great event. 19 crown Vicks. We went through more than that. I think we went through, <laughs> yeah. we'll do the math here, 25 yes. crown Vicks yes. and one Toyota Camry. But uh, history was made. Thank you for joining us here. Again, join us again tomorrow for Cletus and Cars. On behalf of Larry Mack, Spencer, of course, Cletus McFarland, the whole team, I'm Jared Dina. Thank you so much. We'll see you online. We'll see you another time. Send it! Freedom Factory. 
Welcome everybody to the one, the only. This is the Freedom Factory here in Florida, and this is the Summit Racing Equipment Danger Ranger 9000. We are at Freedom Factory. I am Jared Deanna. Joining me up here in the booth is Nick Savage. We're going to be talking about it. Look at this. Look at that beer. Look at the fall. But of course, the gentleman right here, he's got the lamb chop. Oh my gosh. He is ready to burn it down. Exciting time here. Cletus McFarland. Thank you so much for putting on this event. Thank you for the invite. Right, Nick? I mean, 100%. how excited are you? But how excited are you, Cletus? Dude, I'm so excited. So excited you guys are here. So excited all these fans are here. Who's excited to be at the Freedom Factory? Hold on. Let's hear it. One, two, three, okay, four. We got some excited oh. people. That's and for the people at home, you excited? We need to hear a cheer. Okay, didn't hear, Did hear that, that one. Yeah, it's hard to hear that one. But, uh, you know, guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. Those of you who are here at the track, those of you who are at home, you know, we are just out here doing our thing we're we're trying every day to make this track better and uh you know it was just an abandoned little graveyard a couple years ago and now look at it we got people in the stands we got people watching from all over the world and we are about to race 40 rangers tonight like that is you're getting ahead of yourself yeah. though 40 you're rangers. Ahead of, that's yeah. tonight that's under the lights that's which tonight. the lights look beautiful can i give you a compliment Thank the you. grass looks Lighting good system is on point the lights are on point you know. Danger Ranger, but uh, prior to that, we're kind of building up a little appetizer first. Spectator drag. So Woo! if you guys haven't seen this before, essentially one lap race, one on one. It's the most. I mean, it's the most one on one race you can give. And it's drag diverse. Racing. You're seeing McLarens next to PT Cruisers. I know. We have McLarens, GTRs, C8s, and then we have PT Cruisers, Mini Coopers. We got a Bone Stock Marauder out there. I'll be driving, and uh, we just got a great day coming up. And I'm gonna hand it off to. My boy, Jared DeAnda, and Nick Savage. That's and right, uh, you boys have a great night. i got to go do some racing. I'm going to use a pad, right? This is I'm going to sit on this thing because the, you can yeah, buy these seat at the cushions, Oh, it's man. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be in this saddle. You go ahead and jump in the Marauder. Thank you so much. See Again, boys. the lights look great. The grass looks great. Stay off the dang lawn. 100%. Yeah. Let's go, brother. Let's go. Lawn. Stay off the dang lawn. Grab yourself. A Hell Yeah Brother special if you're here in the 100%. stands. But guess what? You can do a Hell Yeah Brother special at home, right, Savage? Yeah. And what, you can does, make what that. does that include? That's two hot dogs and a Bartle Skeet, brother. Oh, That's a Mountain man. Dew. Yeet, yeet. All right, let's get I'm a little ready. closer. Savage, get, Let me get slide in. Oh, right there. Now, Woo. Now that, that, uh, that giraffe has left the building. We are ready. We are two wild animals. Savage and Jared, we are going to be talking about, again, we're talking about drag racing. It's one lap to rule them all. Lord of the Rings. Who's going to be the Lord of the Ring here tonight? And Cletus was talking about the format. One and done in their first heat. But then they're going to advance on, and it's the best of threes. What he described, things 100%. might change a little bit. You never know. But regardless, again, as he alluded to, Danger Ranger 9000, that's going to be under the lights. It's it's going to be one heck of a day. So thank you for tuning in. If you haven't purchased it already, right now we are free 90 free, baby. Free 90 but then free. when we get into our spectator drags, when we knock it down, Hey to guys, our real five quick. pair, that's one. when you're going to need to purchase it. So thank you so much. As hey, here we go. Thing I want Leader. To clear, one thing I want to clear up, guys. For the spectator drags at the Freedom Factory, so that the cars can see the flag stand, we start them at this line. See this white line? We start them at this white line. That is the finish line. So a little over a three-eighths of a mile. That's the finish line. This is the start line. So they'll do one full lap. Whoever crosses that first wins. I'm going to hand it over to our flag man. And you boys up there, have fun. All right, here we go with our first spectator drags. This is one and done. So we have right here, we have our PT Cruiser going against what? What, what could we have Classic. That? That's a G body right there. Oh, man. So here we go. Oh. Do you think the American <laughs> flag slows him down or does it speed him up? Oh, I mean, I definitely think it lets them freedom out, so it's definitely about 50 more horse. That G-Body's putting a little gap on that PT Cruiser. Good-looking little box Chevy there. Coming out of turn three, about to swoop into four. PT Cruiser's not too far behind, though. That G-Body's taking the W on home. Oh, man. Got a little skinny sauce sticker there, hooked on the sauce. No preps, uh, prep there. Oh, 100%. Yeah, we have a, a quite a diverse pairing here for our head-to-head, -head. again, our spectator drags overall. We start with 20 pairs overall, 20 pairs overall. So the G-Body brings it home, one and done there. That's right. Did pretty good. I'm not going to lie. The PT Cruiser did a lot better than I thought. It hung tough like new kids on the block. I thought that was that was a good effort right there. But, you know, all, all I, think, I think you're right. The, the American flag gave him a little boost. 
you know, it's I like not what I'm hood, here. it's out back. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, uh, he's going too far. This guy right here needs to back up a little bit. This is going to be a good race. Oh, they're both going to just pull on up. Hold on. Our flag man is going to back him up. We got a VR4 in the right lane. C5 Corvette in the left. Here. All right, Jared, who you got here? Um, I, I, you know, the, the VR4 is absolutely, you know, just just a great car to, to, to see out here. And the car 14, we have, I believe it's pronounced Eunice Griffin the third. If you have third title in your name, I think that brings some weight. So You're Eunice Griffin Jr., uh, Griffin, excuse me, the third, I need to say that uh, contractually. And then Mike Vincent in the VR4. Uh, you know what? I think this is a good head-to-head -head battle. What do you think? I'm going to have to go with the Corvette. Of course you are. I mean, come on. Look at your glasses, your beard. You are just exuding some bow tie flavor. Well, he just got me. Oh, up the line. <laughs> okay. I'm going, against, I'm going against the grain All right now. Right. The VR4, absolutely. Ooh. Hey, guess what? You know what's for dinner? An appetizer at Gapplebee's. There yeah, he is. Uh, choke on that one. Put a NASA gap on that right there. Woo! Rick and Mike Vincent. Mike V takes it to the house wow. in the VR4. I think VR stands for uh, Mike Vincent really four cars away from you, VR4. Uh, that's, that's how good Mike Vincent is. Hey, guys, is he just really ripped it. You know what I just found out? Apparently, the guy in the VR4 hasn't lost a spectator drag in four years. Is that right? Oh, four wow. Years? Four or five years? Okay, so he's out here to win the money tonight, <laughs> and it looks good. Oh, yeah, we got I mean, Romero. He got, he got off the line. The VR4, it's all-wheel drive, so he's going to get the whole shot. Let's, let's get a quick interview. Okay, who do we got here? We got car 13. That's Michael Hill. That's Michael here there, Cletus. Okay, we got a stick shift. Camaro. Have you been here before? First time? You dialed in. You think you got this uh, Mercedes covered? Yeah, yeah, easy. One LE. Got the classy Mercedes out here. GT Rally. You think you got the Camaro covered? We'll see. All right. Robert Brooks in that the is 19. Ro yep. Robert Brooks in the 2017 Mercedes C43. He's a real estate broker by day. We'll see if he's a racer by night. Well, in the afternoon, on a who Saturday, you, on a weekend. Who you got here? We'll see. Michael Hill, he's going to climb this hill. Newfound Florida man and pilot. Michael Hill behind the wheel of the Camaro. Oof. Great looking car. Let's talk about a race here. here. Well, that core or the Camaro there. Glad I didn't bet you on that one. Oh, man, Robert Brooks taking it to the house. Looks like he's slowing down. Is he mocking? Is he mocking Michael Hill right now? If he hits the flashers, he's definitely disrespectful. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hit the flashers. Oh, man. Oh, a little two-step across the finish line. I'll tell you what. I know I know you're a bow tie guy, but right now it seems that uh, all, the, all the imports are coming up spades, brother. You know, I'm kind of embarrassed right now. I mean, I'm, I'm American as well. I just like to, you know, just challenge people. Spades and Robert spade. Brooks stepped up. Guess what? He uh, just put, uh, you know, he's a real estate broker, so I think he put a for sale sign on the on the front of Michael Hill's Camaro there. <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Definitely getting modded after this. Oh, our man Spicy Spence got to be loving our number 12 here. Number 12, that's Josh Beach down by the beach. Boy, is he doing double duty? Is he up doing spectate? Oh, we got it. We got a pickup truck battle. That's the ace on hard body right there. Or is yeah, that a we Mazda? got a pickup That's truck a, battle. I appreciate here. the compliment. Pickup uh, truck battle. <laughs> First burnout of the night too. So, let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's a I'm Nissan hard body. I'm going right lane though, boys. Me too. I'm going the black Nissan hard body with those gold rims. All right, here we go. That hard body getting the jump there. The gold wheels. See Savage. You went against the, the kind of domestic, getting squirrely. Last night was drift night. Cleet, what do you think, buddy? Uh, being that the hard body's been here before, I knew he was going to have. Oh, oh, oh. I lost it. Ooh, we. <laughs> See, he's been here before, but he will drive that thing to the absolute edge. Up next here, we got my boy Garza and his Miata. And he's racing JH, I believe. But that might be driven by Chad. Chad might be in JH's crown big. This is just a grudge race. Pure grudge race here. Yeah, we 
got it. 100%. Let's go, baby. So right, Garza, he shows up in this vehicle. I didn't see a single party pack. Cletus, does he have any Taco Bell down there? <laughs> oh, yeah. So is that bad, Chad? And Jage is Crown Vic? This is a grudge match of the ages. These guys showed up together in the Miata. They were singing Jitterbug. They had oh. orange mocha frappuccinos. But oh, now we know Garza oh, can't Garza. drive. Missing gears. Bad oh, he Chad. He too much fire sauce. <laughs> bad Chad better put some uh, pedal down there. He's about to get a little slingshot. Garza's struggling. Needs a clutch. Grab another gear, Gary. Cletus, what happened to your boy Garza? <laughs> Dude, Garza cannot catch second gear to save his life. He needs a booster to grab second gear. He cannot get second gear. We got to work on that. Chad taking the win. Oh, we got the McLaren oh, wow. pulling out up against a Fox body Mustang. I'm going for the McLaren on this one. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I say the paint job is more expensive than the Fox body right now. I mean, the, the Fox bodies are hot commodity, Savage. But. I mean... Those Fox hey, we got, uh, some, uh, we got Southwest right Airlines now. doing a flyover. Really nice. <laughs> That's be a good one. Denny Dimitrova in the GT oh, Rock. Yeah. Bye! Yeah, okay. that McLaren will leave you like you're tied to a tree stump. Oh, Savage, he's playing you know, with oh, it. What's going on here? The McLaren. He's playing with slowing it. Slowing down. Oh, oh he's boy. about to put it on him. Oh, oh my. boy. That was cute. Well, they're... Trying here. Lots he of Mustang might. come inside. He might jack around and lose here. You better let it rip, brother. Whoa, oh, he got him. <laughs> I love it. You love to see it. You love to see it. Well done. So, so Denny Dimitrova there in the McLaren, the GT Rally, gets the victory. That was a, that was a fun little uh, banter right there. It was kind of like boxing match, like little jab, jab. Uppercut there towards the end. It was a sleepy time, just <laughs> night, 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 night. Termite. You put it, put him in the sleeper hold. So yeah, Denny. Cletus, is that official? Did Denny and the McLaren get the victory with our with our spotter with our flag man? Is that official? Yeah, that that was a McLaren for sure. Okay, yeah. so, so want to make sure bumper. we don't have you know. Yeah, guys, remember they start here, but they end at the checkers. So, Copy that. Oof. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, that wagon looks good. I mean, it's a foreign, but it's all right. Re Reginald Richardson in the Volkswagen Jetta wagon, I believe it is. And then car number six, let's just talk about who is behind the wheel of that vehicle. That's Chad ATS. Ware in the Cadillac ATS. Chad gets a jump, the Volkswagen. I guess at this point, just look good doing it. It has a tow hitch, by the way. Uh, he probably tows some stuff around. Chad Ware, massive gap here, absolutely dominating. I think if this is an arm wrestling match, I think he broke his, he broke his elbow. Yeah, he spent half a turn on him, just kind of taking it easy. All right, Cletus, looks like car number six, that is Chad Ware getting the victory in the 2014 Cadillac ATS moving on. We're going to rerun that one. Had a uh, issue at the starting line. Oof. Send him back. Was there some confusion, Cletus? What happened? Yeah, yeah, there's some confusion with the wagon. Wasn't actually ready. So we're going to run it back. All right, let's go and throw a penalty out there and uh, just re rack them, stack them, and track them. Yeah, Savage, from what I'm understanding here is that angle, as the sun is setting, the, the, the flagger is actually right in the sight line of, you know, imagine where the drivers are. They're looking into the sun, and they're looking at the flagger, so a little difficult. Now it looks like we've got a good start here. So that's car number seven in the Volkswagen Jetta wagon. It's 2014. That's Reginald Richardson. Regardless of the restart, looks like Chad Ware in the car number six. That Cadillac ATS puts it down once again. So regardless of the restart, Chad Ware gets it done. You know, if you can't win once, you got to win twice. 
Makes it look too easy. Good little running car. What a beautiful night out here, though. Excited to be here. Dude, super hyped. I'm ready. What are your expectations of the, uh, the old uh, Danger Ranger 9000? You know, on social media, I don't know if you follow me or not on Instagram, but I've definitely rode J.H. Diesel super hard. Okay. So if he doesn't get a podium position, like he's got at least got top three. Or you're going to unfriend him, him or what? Unfriend. What's, what's the I've, threat? I stay at his house every okay. time I come here. So, so he's either going to win this race or I'm pulling his main card. He's out. Got to go. He's dead to you. Dude, check out the CBS. <laughs> yeah, Cletus, what do we got down there? Is that a Solstice and a CTSV? I think, I think it's, it's a Celica. Celica. That's a Toyota Sorry, Celica. Celica. Celica and a CTSV. Oh, that CTSV. He's got the 89. Put some, put a little wax in there, maybe? Looks like there's an intercooler on that uh, Celica. I'll tell you what, the Celicas were a ripper in, in absolute rally racing. We'll see how they handle the over here, car number four, don't have the name on this gentleman, but would be, you would assume, 89, but not the case. And then the uh, car 28, car 28, I believe, and that's Michael Vincent Correa. Boy, that's, that, uh, that Celica's trying Get to make it happen. Oh, oh, getting close. That Celica's going for the win. Coming out of turn on. three, oh, coming man. in high. Oh, can he close the gap? No. What do we got? What do we got? Alan, are Too we going with the Celica to or the Cadillac? The Celica. Celica. Thumbs up the, for Celica? The Celica, Celica won. It? The Celica won. Wow. <laughs> Woo. The Celica coming in clutch. That was awesome. Boy, he was driving. Yeah, take, take a look at that photo finish, and there it is. Cletus, we pulled it up on the instant replay, the photo finish, and we saw that the Celica, it was, we're saying, we're saying a foot. We're saying a foot distance there. And look at that, taking that high line, you know, uh, Michael there, the car number 28, great looking wrap, love the retina burning high vis yellow, but unfortunately just could not deliver. So I think he thought because he made up so much in power. This next driver in the Subaru, that is Josh, track manager of the Freedom Ooh. Factory. What do you think about that? Oh, switching it up last second. <laughs> Ooh. So car number 29, Josh, and then car number nine, that is Kenneth Klein in the Mitsubishi Ooh. Eclipse. Oh, he's ripping. Josh gets gapped. Taking Josh to Gapplebee's. It's a neighborhood place, though. Wow. Well, the eclipse is get down. Dude, the eclipse is ripping. I feel like the guy in the eclipse is buddies with the guy with the VR4. Oh, 100%. I mean, Am I when you run those right on that? Cletus, that's Kenneth Klein, that 98 Mitsubishi Eclipse. Can you bring me a solo clip? And, and, and I think you're right. I mean, the, the, the Diamond Star guys, they tend to run in a whole tribe, kind of like the Bowtie Boys. But I will tell you that, I don't know if you saw it, he did get a little extra boost. He's got the, the red, white, and blue. He's got the flag on the roof of that 98 Eclipse. That might have helped him. Absolutely did. Absolutely did. You guys having a good time here at the Freedom Factory? All right, cool. We're just getting started. We got a lot more fun tonight. This is just an appetizer. You keep talking about Gapplebee's, and it just makes me hungrier, Cletus. What's, what, what's for dinner? All right, car number, who do we got out there? We got car number 25, I believe it, believe it is. The 18, Austin Webb. Good. The Infinity gets a big jump going into turn one. Let's see if that Focus can close the gap coming out of turn two. The Ford Focus ST being left in the dust. Great looking car. Those things, they, they, they make the crackle. I don't know if you, dude, they, they, they sound rowdy, but I don't think it's enough. Austin Webb in the 2018 Q50S gets it done, taking out the ST. Yeah, this first round, you get a lot of uh, big mismatches. I think by the second round, we're going to go best two out of three because we're going to have a lot of tight races. So we'll kind of get through the field here. 
And uh, round two is going to get spicy. I think we got a Camaro ZL1 pulling in. Oh, that's a 1LE. Oh, wait, is it a ZL1? Yeah, it is a ZL1. First S2000. I could see it. Oh, dude. American Muscle, dude. Let's see what it can do. Car number 22, car number 22, and car number two. So a lot of twos thrown down here. Who's your money on, Cletus? I'm going S2000. That's CJ Fisher. I'm going Camaro for sure. I have to go for the Camaro. S2000 about to put the gap on. Look at Savages going against the grain. CJ Fisher gets the jump in S2000, but there it goes. Car number 22, Manny Garcia, new to the car scene, has only had this car for a month. Let's see if he's familiar with it. Is he toying with them? Is he batting oh, yeah. at the, the catnip? Cletus. What do you say, buddy? He's slowing down in the turns. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Let's go, S2000. Oh. Hit it. Let's go. Oh. oh. That looked like Camaro. Yep, that's Camaro win. Camaro by a bumper. Camaro AJ. by a bow tie. The Manny Garcia 21 says Corvette, but obviously it's not. That's Camaro. But he says he's new to the car scene, only had the car for a month. That's what I'm seeing on my notes here. It's a good looking car. Do you remember when that S2000 came out? It's I a do. hot car. Lowest, lowest center of gravity, uh, uh, not the cam obviously, but uh, the crankshaft. Lower center of gravity crankshaft in all of OEM uh, vehicles. What, what is coming down the chute right now? I see an Audi high, but what are we dealing with here with the, with the big, uh, big drag hood? Oh, that's a Cavalier. It's like a 92 Cavalier or a Beretta. I think it's a Cavalier. That, is, a, up, that is a, it's an 89 Chevy Beretta GTU, Ooh. piloted by Jason Shulko. And, and he didn't get the memo on the line being back. Back it up there, bud. The hood back it up there, Jason. Kind of blocking the view barely. Just, yep. just Jason's a getting a little, a little excited. That's, that's car number eight as well. That's Devin Rios in the Audi S3. Who do you got? I'm going to go Audi. Uh, All right, I'll go Beretta. Yep, let's go. Let's battle it out. I, it, I mean, gets the jump. All-wheel drive. We're going to get him every time. Oh, that Beretta did a nice burn. I see Cletus jump behind the wheel of the Marauder. See if he's going to beat up his, uh, his competitors here. Yep. Yeah, I'm about a half a track on that. Devin Rios. <laughs> Oof. And there. We go. Jason Shulko, great effort, but just not enough. I do like the hood, brother. 100%. You'd love to see the diversity. My cousin had a 92 Cavalier that we used to street race. Hey, guys, real lie, quick. It ripped. I yeah, think go we ahead. have a GT500 paired with a Nissan GTR first round. Ooh. That's a brand new GT500. Is that the 500? That's it. Well, I know there's a GT350 out here too. I don't want to mix it up. Who's your money on? I did. I have to go with the the GTR. The GTR has got to have this, right? It can launch. Brand new GT500 versus a 2009 GTR. All right, that's Anthony Barranco, car number 21 in the Shelby GT350. Uh, he's a Marine Corps sergeant from Hilliard, Ohio. And then pilot of the GTR, that is James Dipple. James gets the jump in the GTR. Oh, okay. Mustang trying to make Again. it low on the apron there. Oh, can you reel him back in? Might be a little scared to take him to the wall. Dude, there, the Mustang is out handling him. Wow. Wow. Should have picked a Ford. Let's hear it for the Mustang. Come on. Come on. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Cletus, again, that's Anthony Barranco. He's a Marine Corps Sergeant from Ohio coming out here and doing the competitor drags. That's awesome. 100%.
Oh. I mean, I feel like this is like uh, just this nice Lexus. What are you? What are you doing out here? Like, I feel like you go to prom in that car. It so, doesn't feel like a you know competitor drag vehicle. I mean. So this next one, this is this C8 is the guy who won our last spectator drags, but he was in an accident just a couple days ago. So instead of missing the event, they pulled a couple body panels off so they could make it because we figured he's only at a disadvantage without his front down force. The body panels don't weigh much, so we think he's at a disadvantage without them, so we're still letting him run. So that's Matt, Matt Whittington in the 2020 Chevy Corvette going against Douglas White in the, no pun intended, White Lexus GS 350. pick of his line for his next round. That was a quick grab there by the Corvette, as you said, Cletus. Matt Whittington makes quick work of the Lexus. Uh, the C8, man, they are good. They're just good cars. That thing doesn't have a lot of mods. It's just a good car. All right, advancing through the spectator drags, and it's a bracket style. As we continue on, we have 20 pairs overall. Hey, Cletus, how are the pairs picked? Is it just drawn, or did you choose them? How, how is it drawn? So the first round is completely random, and uh, it just ends up how it is. The way you get in line is who you end up racing, and then second round is basically the same way. When you get back in line, you got the guy in front of you or the guy behind you. It's just how it ends up. I like it. You got another CTSV. Up against a Mustang. One CTSV here. Savage, which way are you leaning? The CTSV or uh, the, CTSV. the Ford Mustang? CTSV. Okay. Well, Zachary Vicari in the 07 Ford Mustang, and that's car number 15 on the other side. It's Kevin Byer in 2018 Cadillac CTSV. The Mustang gets the whole shot, no problem. It's a tire sticker that helped. That CTSV is about to put it on right here. Let's go, baby. Let it rip. I don't know. That Mustang's trying. Let's go. The CTSV. Oh! Oh, oh that would have been bad. Oof. Is the CTSV going to get Let's it? Let's see what's going to happen. Done. The CTSV gets the W. He got kind of lucky on that deal. That that got very scary there for Zach. Zach Vicari in that Mustang. Cletus, how scary is it taking a streetcar and going into this bank? I mean, these guys are spectators, and now here they're on the track. Yeah, you know, I've crashed into this wall a couple times. It doesn't feel good. So <laughs> you, you just got to be careful. But I got a buy run into the second round, but Josh, track manager, keeps saying his STI can beat the Marauder, so he's going to race me on my buy run. All right, well, Cletus jumps behind the wheel of the Marauder. We'll see him. All right, as Cletus gets strapped in there. All right, Garrett strapping in there. Got his open face helmet, the Marauder. Look at OE seatbelts. I mean, this is a street car, Nick. You're taking it on a racetrack. It's a ripper. It definitely will hurt some feelings. He says this car is OE. I called it the Mall Rotter. Like, it, it, you know, it's, it's cruising. I, I love the Marauders. I always thought they were just an awkward, quirky car. And obviously, you know, the, the lineage of the Crown Vic in this vehicle. What do you think? Oh, they run. They're kind of like the old Lincoln Mark 7s. Those are some rippers, too. Out there warming the tires up, you know. Definitely a good looking car, though. How do you think the Marauder's going to fare against the, the Subaru? You know, Josh I love Josh Subaru. to death, but Josh is going to get about four buses put on him. It's going to be a massive NASA gap by Cletus. I will tell you, I think the Subaru might get the jump, but then Cletus is going to reel him in like a big mouth bass. Oh, 100%. He's ripping lips. What are you guys doing? Packing dips and ripping lips. <laughs> I got to get in the groove there, you know. Sure get some traction. Oh, I love that. Okay, there we go. We're ready. We're ready and go. 
Told you. Oh, but look at oh. Cleeter fights back. Boy, Josh is trying to take the high road. Oh, oh boy. And this is a bye run go. for Cletus. Oh, Cletus. <laughs> go, baby, go. Loose is fast, Cole. Oh. Who you got? It's going to be a close one. Looks like Cletus by half a car. So Cletus McFarland, even though it was a bye run, that was a playful kind of banter back and forth. But Cletus McFarland does officially take that victory over track manager Josh. Yeah, well, about three quarters a car. Our Summit Racing Danger Ranger 9000 festivities. This is kind of the opening act, if I may. If you have not purchased it, please go ahead. If you're watching online, please purchase the, the live stream and available everywhere. Go to baldeagle.com. Ah, ah, as you need to go. And, uh, again, this is the Summit Racing Danger Ranger 9000. Short commercial break. When we come back, some more action here at Freedom That Factory. was easy. Savage, what do you say about our spectator drag? Man, race. what a great event. Yeah. I can't wait to see this old box Chevy go against that VR4. But I'm picking VR4 here. The VR4, Cletus talked about it. Yep. Unless that box is uh, about two bottles of nitrous, he ain't winning this race. How many bottles? He needs 11 team bottles. Yeah. He needs about two stages right now to make that gap. Yeehaw, that VR4 is not playing. Woo, getting a little loose out of turn four. That's a good-looking right. old Caprice, though. So just so you guys know, we're now best two out of three, so they will run it again. All right, so now the format has changed. Not one and done, best two out of three. They'll alternate positions as we are seeing... The Stars and Stripes out back, but the VR4, very dominant, man. I love it. Cletus, have you ever owned a Diamond Star? You ever owned a, a Mitsubishi yourself, an Eclipse, or no, no? You're shaking it off? Are they re-racking? Yeah, they're re-racking, so it's best two out of three now. All right. Oh, is this guy <laughs> showboating? <laughs> oh, he's going oh, oh, to get him a couple him. cars. Oh, oh, that is oh, rips. I don't know if he catch it. The disrespect. Oh, man. Is about to close this gap right here out of turn two. He's going wide. Oh, he defends the line. He drops in. VR4 takes it real low. Going out of turn three. VR4 coming in. Wow, huh. that thing is fast. VR4 moving on. Wow. So, honestly, I don't. Are we going to do the third race, right, Cletus? We don't. No. That's it. That's it. Just dominant. Absolutely. If you win broke the first two. If you win the first two, we don't do the third. Yeah, that would just be pandering, right? Oof. All right. The Mercedes Benz is back in the building. This is Robert Brooks, car number 19, the real estate broker by day. Oh, he's warming up the tires on the hard body. Which way are you going, Cletus? Which way is the needle going for you, the bends or the hard body? Savage, what do you think? I'm going hard body. Hard body by a truck. Having a little problems there getting some traction out of that hard body. Got the bins coming out of turn two with about, oh, two bus links. Luis Santiago bring up the rear in that hard body, but I'll tell you what, Robert Brooks out front in that C43. He might need to step on it. Come on now. Look at the hard body get loose. Again, drift night was last night, but still showing up with some styles. But guess what? Styles 
doesn't get you points and doesn't get you the win. So they put you on the trailer. Yeah, exactly. Put you on the trailer. Well, they do get to run it back. So maybe That's the right. hard body will pull something out. All right, run it back, re rack them, stack them. Well, I think, Jared, honestly, if the hard body just leaves a little softer, maybe doesn't spin them so hard, might be able to close the gap, but that broker, he's really got that car dialed in. Yeah, I'm, I'm not super familiar with the C43 chassis and what's what's under the hood of this. I mean, he's running OE wheels, which, you know, but got the Patronus livery, maybe giving him some speed there. And there you go. You call the Savage. He's spinning him off the line. Spinning's not winning, brother. That's all right. Let's see if this hard body can close the gap here with this being, or this uh, Mercedes. I can't talk. Here we go. Coming into turn three. Oh, man. Can the hard body close the gap? I or hit the wall. Ooh. Whoa! Oh. Tank slapper by the hard body Nissan. Does not get it done. So Robert Brooks of the C43. Guess what? Again, just putting another another vehicle out on the market as he's a real estate. He's really good at that. He is. By day and night. Yeah. Look at tapping the wall. Oh yeah. I thought he was gonna hit that wall. Good his, save though. His truck might be a hard body, but the the wall is harder. It's going to oh, win. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Looks like bad Chad out here in the uh, JH Diesel Crown Vic. <laughs> what a pairing here. Oof, bad Chad, you want to buy a McLaren? Don't get inside of it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye. Batter Chatter is what his name is right now because he just got absolutely smoked. McLaren toying with his emotions. Boy, look at the really dusting the cobwebs of their... Oh, man. Chad just not even part of the equation. Oh, Chad's going to send it, though, going into turn four. Oh, boy. He's really trying to get a McLaren. Woo! McLaren makes it You break it, it you buy it. And, he's, and Bad Chad <laughs> could get on the side of the McLaren. That is Danny Dimtrova's vehicle. And Danny gets the win. That was nice. Again, just I feel like he was just, just batting at like a cat. Yeah, Danny. with a little mouse. Yes, yeah, dink, 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 and then just... Put him to bed. Hit that Mike Tyson, just boop. And he bit his ear. He got weird real quick. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. If I were Chad, I would just keep driving. Wait, jump the green. I say they gave Chad, I don't know, let him drive to turn one. Well, yeah, I, I have a feeling the McLaren's going to just let him go out there. No? No. Nope. 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 Goodbye. Bad Chad is definitely giving it all he's got. I love it. Tap the bumper, <laughs> Chad. Go ahead. Oh. oh. <laughs> do not bump draft the vehicle that's probably the most expensive in this, in this whole grid. Oh, Chad's going to take that low line. But the McLaren still gets him by half a car. What kind of suspension is on that Crown Vic? It's got a lift kit. Okay. You know, so, it's probably a rough country. Okay. You yeah. know, cheap, rough country. Summit sells it, though. Summit Racing Equipment, Danger Ranger 9000, Nick Savage, myself, Jared Dienda, of course, Cletus McFarland. wants to thank Spicy Spence out here in the building as well. But uh, just, uh, just a fun, good time that is the Freedom Factory and our Danger Ranger 9000. Warming things up with their spectator drags. The format now, we started with 20 pairs. We've whittled it down to 10. So, and it's the best of three, not just one and done. Also, let it be known, go ahead and buy. This is free 90 free, but in a little bit, Nick, you need to pay to see and oh, to view what's going down. 100%. Looks like we got uh, Cletus down here racing an ATSV. Yep. Pretty good race here off the line going into turn one. We got Cletus taking a little low, CTSV trying to take it high, see what's going to happen here on the street. That's Cletus. Chad, that's Chad Ware in the Cadillac ATSV. Cletus taking the low line. Maybe he's going to really punch it here. I don't think he's got it. ATS takes the win by a fender. So Chad Ware takes out the current mayor of Freedom Factory. I mean, he lost his event last night. He did. 
He did, and, and you know what? Even though he, you know, he has the keys to the building, doesn't mean that he's going to win. Obviously, there's a lot of people here to support. Where are my Cletus McFarland fans at? Make some noise. Nick, you're not supposed to. I, I know he's writing the checks, but I mean, you know, just kind of got to be bipartisan here, okay, buddy? I mean, where are your Chad Ware fans at? Where are my Chad Ware? See, Chad's got some fans in the building. All right, so let's alternate them here. Chad Ware in that car number six, Cadillac ATSV. Oh, look at Cletus. Gets Ooh. the jump with the Marauder. He's going to take that low line. He's going to drop it now. There's blood in the water. Oh, let's Cletus see. Cletus wants ATSV. to win this. Close the gap. I don't think so. Cletus wants this win. I think we might be going to three races. Yes, we are. I'm just going to call it right now. Woo. Cletus letting it rip. Savage, the stance, the, the arm on the on the A pillar, the arm like up on the roof. I got to tell you that that gets bonus points for me. Oh, 100 percent. But it's all about who gets to the checkered flag first. So this is our first battle that we've gone to the third race, because previously it's it, it's only been you know kind of two and done. It's been really dominant, but here is the third race of this best of three. I mean, who you got? I'm gonna go Cletus, dude. Again, he does write our checks, so um, you know, just want to make sure he's a happy man. Well, on that note, I'm gonna go ATS. Okay, look at Cletus is asking to hype it up. Come on now, come on now, make some noise. This is our first best of three battle. Cletus McFarland, Chad Ware, who's going on into our best of five? You got Cletus taking that low line into turn one. Let's see if that ATS can just come around on the top end on turn two. Oh, we got strategy, Savage. Did you see that? Ooh. He threw a kind of little, not an elbow physically, but metaphorically, just kind of got wide, got big. Here comes Cletus McFarland. Chad Ware towards the checkered flag. Cletus McFarland oh. edges him out. Cletus gets the win in his own house. Make some noise for Chad Ware and Cletus McFarland. Oh, that was a great run. You know, Cletus is not going to try to get a uh, technicality win. He's going to have to have a little style points. About two car lengths. Not bad. Hey, Nick, have, like, do, do the fans stomp their feet? I know they did it last night, but can the fans stomp their feet here tonight? Oh, 100%. I think they should do it right now. Can the fans stomp their feet? Come on, everybody. We want to hear you. Let's go. Get those feet going. Okay. I like that. I didn't know there were earthquakes in Florida. I live in California, so I know there's earthquakes all over. That was a, that was a, that was a mild Richter scale, I think, as the night progressed. The Celica versus the Eclipse. Look at this. My buddy Chase has one of those, or at least he did on his Porsche. Yeah, that's oh, got to gotta be all-wheel drive. Gets the jump. Yeah, he's ripping pretty hard out of the hole. I nice mean, job by Kenneth Klein. Makes quick work of it. Says, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slit your throat here real quick. Just, just you know, a, a nice, peaceful day. Oh, we got a little car spun out in between turn three and turn four. The Celica. Selica went for a spin, dude. He's like, I'll just drive off the track this way. Oh. Tail between his legs, and he walks off. I hope the VR4 and the Eclipse get paired. That would be nice. Absolutely. All Diamond Stars all the time. And you said, and you said four years he's been basically uncontested?
All right, car number 18 here. That's Austin Webb again, and then Austin Q50S, the Infinity. So the uh, the 22, that's Manny Garcia. Again, new to the car. So he's only had this car for a month. He was a bit timid on his first battle set. Well, the Camaro's definitely going to come in hot into turn one. Let's just see what he can do. Taking it awful wide into turn two. Can he close the gap going into turn three? Staying in the throttle going into turn four. Does he have enough to close the gap? Looks like the Infinity is going to take the win on this round. Yeah, that's Austin Webb. You could see just his familiarity with the vehicle. Well, as we'll opposed to, uh, yeah, as opposed to Manny Garcia. You could, right? Do you, do you feel like he's a little timid because he's only had this vehicle for a month? I mean, the start was a little rough, but let's see if he can make a That's comeback. That's the thing. Here. The uh, Camaro did not get a good start. I think he kind of gave up by turn two. The start is a big deal. Any hesitation is going to make a big difference on this run. And here we go. Now with the Camaro taking the lower line, that might be an advantage here for Manny Garcia. He's going to try to throw up a block here and just bring it on home. Again, second race, best of three if you're just tuning in. The Danger Ranger 9000, the Camaro, down one loss. The Infinity Q50 goes wide. Saw a little understeer there. Can he close the gap? Camaro takes it, about to run it back. Cletus, I think you're right. It was all about the start there for talking about the Camaro of Manny Garcia. So now he's going to take that high line. I would have to assume you want to take the lower line out on this track. What, what, what's your favorite line? What do you like? What do you, what, what's your kind of, I mean, just go ahead and put your secrets out there. What do you got? I mean, you want to take the wall and dive in and make the turn as wide as possible, right? The whole idea of an apex is to make the turn not so sharp. Same concept. Here All we right. go, round three. Round three oh, here. Oh, hold on, miss start, miss start. Run it back, re-rack them. The Camaro the definitely makes right more right power. Here. This is best two out of three. Whoever wins this moves on. Let's get a little slower on the setup. All right, Manny Garcia. Oh, he better make it up. A little fumble on the start with Manny Garcia and that white Camaro. Taking that high line, going into turn two. A lot of these guys driving these vehicles home tonight, so they want to keep it off the wall. And we talked about Manny Garcia just being a rookie here with this vehicle. But I'll tell you what, the Q50 of Austin Webb coming on home. Who's going to get it? Oh! oh! He spins out into the burnout pad. Live action. Live action. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see it, as you say. And Manny Garcia takes it home. But what a great effort there. Hey, round of applause for those two racers. Manny Garcia piling that Camaro and that of Austin Webb ripping around the Infinity Q50S. That was, that was good. a good rip. That was a, that was a good rip. He was really trying to push it coming out of turn four and just kind of got loose and lost it. Good save, though. All right, who's your money on? The, uh, the 350. The Shelby GT350, that is Anthony Barranco, car number 21, or Mustang. car number 8, that's Devin Rios. I'm, I'm still going to go with the, the 350 here. Let's see if he can close the gap going into turn 2. Uh, we are here, and that is a false start. This race is not going to matter. He's still going to send it, oh, though. Oh, is the Mustang going to get close? Wow. Close, but a re-rack. Yeah, they got to restart. Blue car jumped. Man, so the, the Mustang's definitely got an advantage here. He almost caught him, even with a jump. So the Audi S3 of Devin Rios jumped the light, or jumped the flag, so we will bring them back. That is null and void in regards to that battle. Those Audis, they launch hard. My buddy of mine had an S3. They, they rip hard out of the hole. They will run. But I'm still going to stick with the American Muscle here. I got that GT350. There he goes. 
Yeah, Anthony Barranco in that GT350. Switching lines. That Mustang can carry a lot of cornering speed. Ooh, coming in high. About four cars there. So that's only round one, because we had to do the restart. So they got to run it again. Best two out of three. Yeah, you can, you can see the attitude of that Shelby GT350, just the, the front left corner really diving in as opposed to that Audi. You see the attitude of that vehicle sits a little higher. So I think that GT350, as you said, Cletus, has a major advantage. I think he just said he'll give you the keys, and, and you could race it now. I, I think that's what he said. No? <laughs> Devin Rios will lead. And again, Marine Corps Sergeant from Ohio, Anthony Barranco, pilot of the Shelby GT350. Well, he is going in hard in turn two. Taking it high, but trying to take home that W. Whoa. Oh, buddy. He is taking it high, but he's about to take home that win. Boom, Anthony Most Barranco, like Marine Corps Sergeant from Hilliard, Ohio, in that 2016 Ford Shelby GT350 gets the win. Cletus, you called it, man. You called it. He's moving on, dude. We're going to have a really good competition in round three. Really close.